Hey Aquarius, this is Soul, and Aquarius, this is your week ahead. We're going to take a look at your energies, Aquarius, uh, beginning 25th, May 25th to May 31st, 2020. The messages will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. New week, new energy, Aquarius. I'm using uh, this week uh, the Tarot of Dreams to deliver your energies, and... With that being said, I want to wish all my fellow water bearers who celebrate Memorial Day a happy uh, and safe Memorial Day celebration. All right, Aquarius, sit back and I hope that you enjoy your energies for this upcoming all Right, day. Aquarius, energies for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Aquarius rising signs. There are some reversals here, Aquarius, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. See what the energies are going to be for you, my fellow water bearers. I am a... Uh, Aquarius rising. So, be interesting to see what the energies are going to be for me as well. Alright, so we're going to start the shadow uh, energy off for us, uh, Aquarius. We're going to start off with that card that represents the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a court card. A couple of things. It could represent an actual person. It could also represent uh, someone getting a job. This is a card of generosity. This is a card of favors being granted. This is someone who is responsible in handling uh, their own financial affairs and the affairs of other people. So this could be your um, employer. This could be your uh, banker, your creditors or whatever. This could be an extension of favors uh, going out to you this upcoming week through those means, whether it's through your employer or whether it's through, you know, creditors or bankers or anything like that. Um resources being available someone can be uh, not only getting a job but someone could be bumped into a higher paying role and someone could also be um, thinking about starting their own business as well so this king could re uh, reference a female uh, so generosity is the thing so this might be uh, the energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards here for your Aquarius and that's good also keep in mind too not only you know, someone receiving a job, um, money coming in. OK, um, this card represents stability, financial stability. And for some, it could be uh, financial security, but money coming in and it could be coming in from uh, known or unknown sources as well. So Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus represents that king of pentacles. OK, now. What we have uh, is, you know, for us in the focus is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. OK, so this is interesting because this is one of my busy B cards. And just to show you what it looks like in the upright position, normally it's uh, about you having enough energy to uh, tackle all the things that are planned or unplanned uh, that may come along your way. OK, so it could be a completion. Remember, the tens and the fives are completions of energy. So. Being that it's in the reverse and it starts us off, first let me talk about the uh, energy that may relate to some of you, um, you know, a couple days ago, you know, in your recent past. Not too distant past, but your most recent past. Maybe there was a lot of things that you had to take care of. Maybe there was a lot of things that were on your plate, um, you know, doing stuff for yourself, doing stuff for other people. You know, it could have been work related, could have been a family situation, you know moving about you know with your romantic partner or whatever the situation may be so that means you've completed all of those tasks all right so now this might be for some of you a rest period week all right when the energy of the ten of wands gives you that kick it gives you all the things or all the necessary energy to do all those things i just mentioned now for you it might be that this <laughs> for some of you taking a break <laughs> relaxing a little bit you know winding down so that could be it. And, you know, I always say when the Ten of Wands shows up here, you know, if you want to go by the uh, if you're going to strictly go by the, um, you know, the textbook uh, definition of these energies here, I don't always do that, that, you know, you're burdened by something carrying a heavy load. Well, look at that. It's, uh, it's in a reverse now. So if you were uh, burdened by something. Uh, and, you know, you were carrying some sort of uh, heavy load. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical load then, you know, that is to a completion. It's always a change of energy. So whatever burdens that you had to deal with, whatever heavy loads that you had to deal with, you've, you know, obviously have taken care of them. And now again, I'm coming back to the the energy of resting. You know, this is your rest period. For some of you, it could be your rest period. 
not I'm not saying total rest. You're still going to be moving about because there's still things for you to do. If you are uh, someone who works, someone who is, you know, in a relationship and you have a family to take care of, those things are just, um, you know, basic and, and, and constant. So they're not going to ever change. All right. I'm talking about those things that may have been extra for you to do. In addition to all of the other things that you normally are doing or will be doing. So we're crossing the um, Ten of Wands that represents Aries, Leo, Sagittarius uh, with uh, another reverse card here. This is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is in a reverse. And, you know, this Six of Pentacles is about an uh, offering and generosity. Oftentimes I pick up that. It is uh, a lot to do with stubborn energy when it's in a reverse. Okay, even though it's, um, you know, an even number of pentacles, that's my amendment card. So it might be just for some of you who are waiting for some sort of apology to come through uh, from someone from some sort of past transgression. Or maybe somebody is being uh, like the five of pentacles uh, in the upright being cold or stubborn towards you. Uh, not willing to uh, offer any types of financial uh, assistance, if that is the case. This could also be an indication of a uh, temporary delay for some of you when it comes to, uh, you know, money. Like a withholding money's coming, but it's like something else is going on that that may be holding it up. So keep that in mind that that could be what I'm getting as well, that you're either waiting for some not a handout, but you're waiting for something that is owed to you uh, and it's coming. But then it might be because it's in the reverse position that there's some sort of hold up or a delay. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, just like that King of uh, Pentacles in your shadow references that uh, six of coins. But I do feel. Yeah, I'm going to stick to that. Somebody's waiting for some money and somebody's waiting for an apology. Or there's some other type of stubborn energy concerning. I hope it's not you. You know, uh, you know, Aquarians don't fit into the category of being stubborn. And if it is, it's not something that's intentional. No, I think it's the energy that I'm reading for you. So it's the energy that is more most likely coming towards you. All right, something going on here. Somebody's a little bit stubborn or. It's an unwillingness to do something. I think it's an unwillingness to help you out with. Uh, a, it could be a financial situation, but it could be something else that's to, uh, totally different. All right. So the temperance card, Major Arcana, is showing up here in the reverse as well. So this here is about. It's a beautiful card, too. It's about, you know, patience. It's about. Uh, things uh, being, you know, balanced, coming back into um, balance for you, peace and harmony. When it's in the reverse, that means there's an indication of something that's still not uh, balanced out for you. It's, it's a relationship card, so it could be indicated that there's a little bit of an imbalancing stuff going on with uh, a relationship. Now, again, this is open general reading, so it could be a, a romantic, platonic, something going on in the family. Excuse me. This uh, temperance card, just like, uh, you know, the empress and the high priest always gives me the, you know, like Mother Nature uh, type of energy. Something still needs to be balanced out here um, for you, Aquarius, uh, because it is following the uh, six of pentacles. I would think uh, and lean heavily towards for some of us is about our financial situation and, you know, <laughs> being an Aquarius rising, I can relate to that. Basically, I feel that that's what it is. Trying to restore some sort of financial uh, balance, you know, get your finances in order or together. And again, uh, you know, for others, it could be some other type of imbalancing uh, energy that has gone on. Temperance represents Sagittarius, uh, other fire signs, Aries and Leo. Following that, temperance card where well, we have the queen of wands okay so the queen of wands is showing up here and i wonder if the queen of wands that is um would be mirroring the six of pentacles is aquarius waiting for some sort of assistance or apology from a fire sign mm. leo aries sagittarius this is you otherwise being focused being passionate about something 
Uh, this card always represents, along with the king, when it shows up, sexual energy, sexual expression. So it's something that you are, and, and most times I always say about the females having a bout of hot flashes. You know, that's just a little side thing that I throw in there when the queen shows up. Uh, so that could be something that's going on. So something heating up, but it could be heating up in a good way, something that is passionate uh, for you in a good way. Remember, so far, uh, we have yet to draw any cups, but it doesn't really matter because I'm linking uh, a lot of this energy with relationships because of the knight of, I'm, I'm sorry, the king of pentacles at the base here. And now we have the queen. So I could be just reading for somebody who is either in a relationship currently with a earth sign or uh, there is an interest or someone in a relationship with a fire sign. But whatever it is, this queen is saying that I'm going to be focused this week. I'm I'm going to be passionate about something. The passion could go into anything relative to, you know, your hobbies or your interests, whatever your interests are. Uh, that's the passion. And, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be restricted to hobbies. It could be your relationships with your romantic partner, with your friends or with your family. Next up is the four of coins. Here we go with more of the pentacles. And this is uh, being mindful and careful of your spending. Now, I just said in, uh, I don't know what sign it was that the four of pentacles showed up here that there could be, it's a little bit withholding. When it comes to love and affection, it's a little bit withholding, a little, you know, being a little bit stingy. For the others, it's all about uh, concentrating on your finances. That still could, promote, you know, be a, a situation where somebody gets a job, someone gets a small pay raise, someone gets a bonus. Um, but also, too, let me throw this in here. It also could be that someone is, um, you know, coming up short, thinking that they're coming up short and not being able to meet some sort of financial uh, expectations as well. It's like he's opening up the... Uh, <laughs> I guess the box that's uh, our chest or whatever you want to call it. And wow, I only have four. That could be your bank account, you know, your savings account or something like that. And you're coming up short or you're thinking that you uh, had more than what you thought you had until you, you know, looked into the account and said, oh, my gosh, I don't have enough money here. So all things are possible. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo represents that four of coins here following the four of coins now we have the seven of coins so it's about money for aquarians this upcoming week six of coins uh four of coins king of coins and now we have the seven of coins so someone could be purchasing a dog i'm getting that right off the bat because you see the dog sitting right there someone could be a rescuer now it could be a purchase or it could be just a payment that you know could be a donation for you know taking the dog off the hands of whoever um, was keeping a dog or it could be a cat. It could be any other type of animal. This is uh, paying attention to detail in the line of work that you're doing, uh, working very hard for that, you know, to draw that income. There still could be that promotion. Someone getting that pay raise, someone, you know, getting that job. But you're um, very detailed about whatever it is um, that you're linked to when it comes to your work. And then this is a card of options as well. So there's options out there for you, uh, whatever options that, you know, could present themselves for you. They're there. They may be available again, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Wow. Interesting. Next up is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is here. The Knight in Shining Armor. This is someone who could um, quickly come in and assist you. Um, when it, I have to be careful, though, I always say I have to be careful when someone, you know, when a knight of wands showing up and I say quickly coming in to assist you. This could be how fast of an approach of a new situation that could be developing, whether it's romantic or whether it's platonic. OK, so this is a court card. We have the knight. We have the queen of we have the knight of wands, queen of wands. And now we have the knight of pentacles. So the only absence here is the cups. If this temperance card was in the upright position, it still represents a relationship. Then I would have had something, you know, um, not necessarily favorable to say, but I'd have, I'd have had a different complete message. And I didn't I wouldn't need the cups um, to say that there's relationships um, 
that are being formed or about to be formed or newly new yeah newly connections with people in some type of way and then your last card is well we finish off with the cups the eight of cups not necessarily the cup that i want but also keep in mind too aquarius is it's not as bad as you think it could be well the back is always to the cups and so sometimes you know like the seven of cups I always get a neutral feel it doesn't indicate a breakup. I don't always pick up. I never pick up a breakup with the Eight of Cups. I don't know why. It's always the Three of Swords, the Tower, and um, oftentimes the Devil will sneak in there and and cause some sort of breakups and whatnot. If I feel it intuitively to say, but I never feel intuitively to say about you know breaking up or breakups involving um, you know the Eight of Cups. There might be a situation where. Uh, for some of us, for instance, is, you know, we're just turning our backs on some sort of emotional drama. Normally, the cups represent other people. So it could be just the emotional drama of other people where we don't do well in dealing with other people's dramas. You know, being Aquarius, if you are a true Aquarian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. OK, we when it comes to the emotional level, we feel things differently or we express our emotions differently. We don't outwardly. Uh, most people, at least I don't, we don't outwardly express ourselves and it sort of throws people off because <laughs> we come across as being cold or callous and <laughs> it's not really like that. It's like we aren't robots. We feel just like everybody else feel, but we feel our emotions differently. So this here, Eight of Cups here could be expressive of, you know, having to deal with other people's drama that's going on in their their life, and it may not have anything to do with what's going on in your life as well. Okay, the 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 order is of uh, discernment here. Okay, making sure that it's not you that you're feeling some type of way emotionally or feeling let down or disappointed. Uh, integrated into any types of in areas uh, that could be going on or anything that could be going on for you generally uh, this upcoming week. But I feel that for the most part, uh, it's like dealing with other people's stuff. OK, you don't want to deal with other people's stuff. And um, I'm going to stick to what I've just said. <laughs> I'm going to stick to what I just said. Throw the comments and I'd appreciate it. Uh, but the Eight of Cups represents uh, cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Maybe the you know, someone is dealing with an emotional water sign. Um, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a true Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It mirrors the Four of uh, Pentacles, as I discussed that, you know, some of us are uh, might be walking into the week discovering that, you know, we're coming up short with our bills. That might be the link in itself and, you know, making you or causing you to feel some type of way, you know, emotionally uh, sad or let down because, you know, the money is just not there. The money is tight. So let me know. All right. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Uh, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, I always encourage you to do it safely. Stay positive. Stay strong. And uh, wishing you all quite a bit of love and light your way. And please, by all means, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend if you do celebrate Memorial Day. All right. Take care. Bye.